Missy Laws was 17 years old when she developed a major crush on a singing star. She did uh, just hang Tiger Beat pictures on her bedroom walls and pine away for his company. No, sir. Missy went out, not only met the object of her dream, she actually dated him for several years, Missy. <laughs> and over the past 10 years, she's met hundreds of celebrities and, and shares with us how you do it. You say you can meet anybody you want? I have a book called Meet the Stars, uh -huh. and it's how to get a date with a celebrity, get a job with a celebrity, or go to the Academy Awards, or whatever you might want to do. And how do you do that? <laughs> well, it depends on who you want to meet and why you want to meet them. My book tells all the details about how to find the person, how to find out. It's better to meet them on the road, for example, rather than in their home t hometown. Because you're and not going to get in their home. <laughs> no, right? I mean their home state yeah. or their home city. And you meet them, um, you know, it's how to get, find out what hotel they're at, how to, um, you know, go backstage and get past security, what to say when you meet them, what to wear. What do you say? <laughs> well, there's certain little guidelines. There, there are things like um, it's good to, to learn a joke or to, you know, to be able to break the ice. Because if you, you say, them. I love you so much and I've... No, you have to, to be That cool. doesn't mean anything. No, you don't want to be a fan. You want to, we want to be their equal and you want to That's right. um, be someone that, you know, that they feel that they can, you're on the same level with them. So you would want to um, appear perhaps, you would dress as they do, you would try to, um, you always overdress when you're meeting a celebrity because it's easier to get past security, it's easier when you meet the person they feel that you're um, on the monetary level that they're on. Mm -hmm. uh, so there are a lot of different techniques. It's called Meet the Stars. Right. <laughs> I just want to tell you that uh, many of our guests on this show have written books, and if you'd like any information, any further information, because there's so many, 312-750-7630 is our information line, and all of their books and, and information is on, on that line. Please know that I'm not making fun of fans at all. All I was saying is I don't understand what it, what it does for you once you... <coughs> You Meet the I would like to say something, Oprah. Okay. People live their normal little lives, and then if you're around celebrities, you, you go out with a celebrity, and it's like you're But a celebrities, star. She's, 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 she was right. They put their pants on the same way you know. do. I don't know. I'm not, I know they do, but yeah. I'm saying that when you go out with a celebrity, if you're on a date with a celebrity, people come up to you and ask for your autograph. They want a picture with you, just because you're with this person. And it's neat to go around and to see what it's like to hang out with the president. Or with so, 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 so